you have five mounting screws, one, two, and three. Those are gonna be long screws, and then you have two of the same size, one on the outer panel and one on the interior door handle bezel. I'll start here first. Phillips screwdriver. Now you have body trim pieces that go all the way around the edge. So you can use a plastic trim tool or your hand and just grab and pull and have them all pop out. Now you can just grab the panel firmly and it's riding right here on the window trim. So you're just gonna pull up and slide and off it comes. Once you've exposed the handle rods, the lock in the entry, you're gonna take your thumb, push that plastic over, lift the rod up, the same with this one, and then lift the rod down. Now we see the electrical connectors for the main switch. I'm just going to push on that tab, wiggle it out. Same with the top. Now we can get the panel out of the way. To dismount the main window switch from the driver's door panel, once you take the panel off, you'll have access to the three mounting screws. Phillips head screwdriver, we're just going to take this off. This one's a bit of an angle. Let's get the top one first. So I just moved over to a manual screwdriver just to get in there a little bit easier. We should be good to go. Once you can remove that. Lift the whole switch out, make sure you don't lose the screw. And there it is. So here we have our new switch, old switch. Quick comparison shows that all the labels look right. We have our automatic window, left to right mirrors. Easier to read, connectors line up, perfect amount of pins. So let's install it. So line up everything, goes single mounter goes on the top, two on the bottom. I'm gonna put it in by hand. That way I know it doesn't break any plastic ears. There you go, nice and snug in. Done. So now we're ready to put our panel back on. Let's connect our main switch again. Here it click. So now we're gonna connect our lock and our inner handle rod to the door latch. So you just line it up. They're pretty self-explanatory because one clip is going down, one's going up. Just make sure they're not too entwined. There we go. Let's slide this over, lock it in. Now we can hook up the top loop in the glass guide. Let it slide down. And we're going to put all the plastic pins right into place. That's good. So we have five mounting bolts. The three large ones go in the handles down here. The other two mount here on the outside of the door panel and here on the interior door handle. Those are the two smallest screws. So we'll take the three large ones and I'm going to start from the middle and work my way out. Now we can check the operation of our new switch. Locks work. Mirrors work. Window. Window works. 